In the last video, we learned how to set up and configure smooth streaming for IIS 8 on Windows Server 2012. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the encoded file we've created using Windows Media Encoder 4 Professional and uploading it to the web server. So here on our desktop, we have the file we encoded, and if we look in here, you'll see all the different files with the different bit rates. And if you remember, they go from 230 kilobytes per second to 2800 kilobytes per second. So what we're going to do is copy this folder to our web server and I've already got it pulled up here and we're going to paste it in the inet pub directory. ww root I'm going to create a new folder just to keep it organized. Media and paste. Okay, so as we can see the files have been copied. We're going to go to default website, media, and we see the folder listed. So now if we go back to the site and click on smooth streaming presentations, So to pull up smooth streaming presentations, you need to go to the folder that the video ISM file is in. And the ISM file is an XML file that keeps track of all the different bit rates we have, and it helps the computer determine what the video quality that can be delivered. Alright, so here's the file, and that is the link to it. If we do edit smooth stream, we can see all the different bit rates and they go from on the video side up to 2800 and we should see a 230 so there's just like we saw in the XML file here all the different bit rates so we're gonna go back and now what we're gonna do is download the smooth streaming HTML file. So all that you have to have for smooth streaming to work is the correct setup on your web server. The client will have to have Silverlight installed and you'll also have to have a silver white, Silverlight web player. And I've already downloaded this. I've got a link here that you can go to to download it yourself. I'll be posting this on the site here so you can just copy and paste it. So within this folder we're going to see a couple different files, one of them being smooth streaming player. So first off I'm going to take a copy of this folder and if we open it up and actually go to edit the smooth streaming player HTML document, we're going to use expression web for this. Okay, so after Expression Web opens, we're going to go to Open, and we've saved that file on our desktop, and we're going to open up the Smooth Streaming Player HTML document, and if we look at Split View, we've already got in here a URL that we'd used previously, and this is what we're going to be looking for here. There's a lot of other settings, but for this demo, I'm just going to show you how to make the actual file work. Alright, so what we want to do is put in the full URL to this path. Okay, and the full path URL, I'm just going to paste it here. This, of course, won't be the same on yours. Okay, so we've got our, and if you notice, this is HTTPS, and we've got the path it's going to, the folder, the directory of the capture. Finally, the ISM file slash manifest, and what manifest does is it opens it up in the browser as an XML file that has all the settings for the different video qualities. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in, replacing the existing URL, and then we're going to simply hit save, and then if we go back to the desktop, 
open up Smooth Streaming Player, we're prompted to install ActiveX for Silverlight. It's already installed, so we're going to tell it to allow block content. And here in just a second, our video will start playing. As you can see, the video is playing. And if you look here in the bottom right, the video starts out blurry, and that's due to the servers determining your bandwidth. Here in just a second, you'll see the progress bar go all the way up to the top. And that indicates that you are receiving the highest quality video. Okay, so right now it's at one bar. All right, and if you notice, the more bars, the higher the quality, of course. 